Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. Time for us to take on Nokron, the Eternal City. Uh, if you're searching this and uh, you haven't defeated Radan yet, this will not be available to you. You have to beat General Radan if this to happen. And he'll drop a meteor in the ground here as part of his death throw. Because he's a Mardi guy. Um, once that's done then we can start making our drop off to go underground, which we're going to do now. Um, this is going to unlock uh, a fair amount of stuff. Obviously, we've already progressed. Um, Selen's questline, a fair amount now. We are just waiting for Sluvis to die, which will happen when we give um, Rani the black black blade, which we'll find down here. It's kind of in a hidden area near the Mimic Summon, which I know a lot of people like. And actually, I also enjoy using myself, so we'll probably end up using it. Uh, I know it took a bit of a nerf, but I feel like all of the summons have taken a nerf. Um, I've noticed Lutl is not standing up to boss fights like it used to. Um, what, what level have I put this one at? And it is a plus 5. I think, in the, I think in the streams it's still only plus 6, plus 7. And it stood up to way better. Still, something's way better than, than it seems to be doing now. Uh, in any case, a um, bit, bit of a leap here. Get down. Just gotta be, gotta be brave sometimes. I'm trying to remember where everything is now. Here we are, I can see it a little bit better with the lantern on, but. That gets us down and into Nokron City. Just got a bit of loot on the way down. If I can remember, these aren't chests, but we are going to find some rather ornate-looking chests on the way on the way through this area as well. They're going to give us some nice, nice goodies. Although I think it's the Ainswell River that gives us the best stuff. Um, that's where everything starts getting really interesting. Uh, Golden Moon Five. We could also have the Love Wart, which we want. Don't want to miss it. Feel like we need to get over this way. Oh. Here we are. Okay. Not going down the middle. No, no, no. Should come to the grace now, though. What is I thought we did here? Check the map. There. Okay, bit of a way to go. Uh, there's nothing too egregious on the way there, so it's not really too bad. Um, so we want to go over this way. Is it, you can jump over to that. I can't remember what it is we get. I don't think it's particularly amazing. I'm going to do it though. Because we should. I'm so glad the stuff on this doesn't slide us off as easily as it did in, in Dark Souls. I don't remember this being anything particularly amazing. But it is the Ghost Flame Torch. Okay. <laughs> we definitely had to collect that. Um, I haven't used it though. So. Now we have Black Slime stuff. Not too egregious itself just yet. Um, this stuff will eventually start turning into like um, NPC type fighters. So it can be quite uh, aggressive eventually, but right now we're okay. Um, there can be many different variants of it. There's like this version, and there's a version that's similar to like the uh, the phalanx blobs from Demon Souls. Uh, in my opinion, they drop ridiculous amounts of runes for how easy they are to kill. And this is going to get uh, a bit out of hand as we go through some of the areas that are coming up to us. Uh, I feel like that thing there is literally there on purpose to make you uh, lock onto the wrong thing. So we're going to get rid of that. Because what I found was when I was trying to get across here, um, it wouldn't let me lock onto the things I wanted to lock onto because that was in the way. But 
us now. We can have a bit more of a reasonable time with it. Time for loot. Just double checking we've got no drop offs that we missed. Always double checking stuff. Um, <laughs> people are still making discoveries about this game every day, which is kind of cool. I really like it. That we've got a, we've got a game that's in such depth that like three weeks later, things are still being found. They are still adding things and changing things in the patch as well. It's just yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, with the patch change, with the patch changing some item locations, I may well end up doing like a rerun of the walkthrough. Um, but it's not going to be like every patch. I feel like we'll have this one out. I'm probably going to play it for a while, and then we will very likely, in my opinion, come back and redo the walkthrough for the summer, unless DLC gets announced, and in which case maybe we'll wait for that. Yeah, I guess maybe we'll wait for that. Uh, where's the drop down? Is it here? That doesn't look safe to me. I'm going to do it there. Yeah, it is here. Uh, they're not too bad to fight, actually. They're not zombies, they're uh, something else. Major runage incoming. I still really haven't used any of the rune items for leveling, and some of the areas coming up now, we're going to get like an obscene amount. Absolutely obscene amount. Excuse me. Excuse me, you got to be careful here, because if they hit you in the head and stagger you, like, uh, it could knock you off. With me. We have the first grace. <clears throat> and so, realistically speaking, this is where Knockon City technically starts. Uh, it's kind of a big area, so it may end up being two episodes because I really don't like going too far over 25 minutes, so we're going to come straight out, we're going to loot everything in an orderly fashion. Uh, it's a bell bearing in the middle. I, uh, I remember that one. It's Ghost Glyph 1, that's why. <laughs> of the first degree. Come here. What? Clip straight through here. No, we missed. That's real bad. Excuse me, sir. I guess these are kind of ghouls. Have a little look at them. Fleshy humanoid undead monsters. Oh, they've got like bolts in their head. Interesting. <laughs> now it's like, I wonder, I wonder what the story with these guys is. As with everything in these games. Uh, so the way forward is the bridge. We want to make sure we get the grid stones over this way. Should be over this way. It's a bit weird, actually. If I remember rightly. Maybe it's just the just the cool sight in the shrine marker. Uh, oh no 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 no! That is the way down to the bridge. Okay, yeah, yeah that's the boss. That's gonna be mimicked here. There's a bit of a trick we could do with that. Basically, unequip everything um, to begin to a completely one-sided fight. I suppose we should show that. Um, because I'm probably not gonna give this a a boss guy video. Don't think it 
needs one. Um, and realistically speaking, it's different for everybody. Because it basically just copies you. Um, turns you into an NPC, and then you have to beat it. Which, realistically speaking, is not too bad. Uh, anything else we need to get before we cross the bridge? Lava tier. Did we get that already? I think we did. And the... Great Shield Soldier Ashes. Should be like here-ish. Did we go past that? Corpse in the graveyard. Ooh, frost. Gotta be careful today. Oh, excuse me. I see you have a friend over here. Make sure we grab all this. We're gonna want it later. Great Shield Soldier Ashes. Did I pick that up? Doesn't look like we did. On a corpse in a graveyard. Looks good to me. Always check the graves. I guess that's probably a weaker version of loot or more hoardy version of loot. Yeah. There we are. That's the first area done. Let's beat that larval tier. Mimic tier. And then we're on through to the next zone. Or part of this zone. <coughs> kind of breaks down into, into two or three. I can be pretty mean. Obviously, we faced this as like a mini boss earlier in the series. Which is mostly fine. There's no grab on you, I don't think. No, 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 stop. So this boss should be a laugh, basically. Do something along the lines of... A little. You should be able to crush this. <laughs> Literally have a boxing match with yourself. Or. Very evasive. You 
even get my flasks. Which, by the way, the actual summon mimics here does get those flasks as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, I can't remember how many gets, but it does get a couple. This is going to be the mimics here done. Uh, we'll get the ashes to have that as a summon uh, pretty shortly, actually, which is kind of cool. Um, oh, we're on 15 minutes here. We can, we can take our first route into here. So, like, if you've got the map up now, uh, this is actually where we were before. This is the lower area. This is, like, underneath what you can see here on this kind of weird bit is um, where Dragon Soldier Dude was. See, that's where the merchant was, that's where the last boss was. There's two Hallowhorn grounds, this is going to be called the same thing. And it's going to work in exactly the same way. Just so you know. Did we rest? I don't know if we did. Oh, we should be close to a level, actually. Oh, so very close. Well, I'm still refusing to use runes on leveling for now. Uh, so yeah, we got that. We should have a sombering stone on the way up. Where are you, sir? There we go. We have... Should have... Say ashes are all the way down there. It's kind of a secret. Not a very well hidden secret in my opinion. We found it pretty quickly, but secret nonetheless. How long have we got? Hmm. Eight to twelve minutes. We can probably probably run around. And you know what? I'm walking. Always forget down here that you can just mount up make this quick. So, let's see if we can get these done nice and quickly. It should be one here, one here, one here, one here. Of course, I can only mark five. There are six. There's one here. There's one in this pillar that's guarded by a cat. And there's a grace about here-ish. Just so that you guys can see. And there are some jellyfish up this way. Which lead to another area this way. It's going to be in its own episode though. So, we are going to quickly go and grab those. There's very little for us to grab. Only a... There's an ash of war. We can get onto the ruin for the ancestral infant's head. Which we'll need. And then we can probably head on into the boss, because this one's like an upgraded version of the of the deal we faced last time. Realistically speaking, not that much different. But I think we'll do the mimic before that. I've just wasted this time that I'm not knocking this out. Let's get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Down, 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 down. I don't waste too much time with you. Sorry, sir. Go down. Right, we've got one up the right hand side. Excuse me, I think we've gone past one. It's a shame. I know there's one this little ruin outcropping here. Love the singing voice from these enemies. Kinda cool. Don't go away. No, I want you now. No, no, no. Okay, 
to these ones so we can get across there, okay? Get this day. Excuse me, but no, sir. So close to one shot in these rats. Painful, actually. Oh. Okay, so now we want to go. We lit that, didn't we? I don't want to forget one this time. I've lit my lessons. So that's done. That's done. That's done. So let's mark the last three that we need. Like that. I'm going to go here. I can't remember what the enemy is that we actually end up facing. In there. Is it Crucible Knight? Can't remember now. Um, don't go thinking this stuff here is uh, something you can stand on. It's all the kill floor. Tested that. Unless it's changed. They may have changed it. It'd have been nice. Um, I went up across all this because that's how we get over that way. I have to come over here. Um, I'm far more comfortable doing this on foot. This way. Ooh. That. All the way along. Two jumps here. Don't let it fool you. That is not meeting the end over there. And then we go into the dish thing. This. Make sure you are prepared. You don't want to die here, right here, because this would be a pain in the ass. I don't think it's particularly strong, but means we ain't facing a boss right now. No reason to be taking any chances. Excuse me, can you not be doing that now? Not even around anymore. In its head. Quest item for later. Then. Oh, I should have tagged the freaking. I should have tagged. I should have tagged this. That's my bad. I am going to fast travel back and then I'll meet you guys back at the. Uh, the br where the bridge meets the land. Okay, so back at the bit where we come off the bridge. We want to go pretty much straight to the right because I completely missed this one earlier. That way we'll have it done. And the cross of the grace, which is what I should have done previously, so we could fast travel, fast travel out of there easier. Here we go. Get you. So get you now. We're gonna go for the grace. Should be a rock over here. There's like a split in it, which is what will signify where we want to go, because it's where we can drop off. I don't realize how uh, accessible they made this. It's almost like they intended for us to be able to get up here quickly if you were rushing through the area. So you definitely want to rest here, and I'm going to use up my runes because uh, first up, the area ahead we're going to be doing some drop-offs, and the area I'm about to go back into, I'm about to face against Big Cat, and they are always troublesome. You can actually sneak up for this one without aggroing any of them, but I'm just trying to be quick now. See the cat? Can't see the cat. There, oh, it's not a cat, it's a dog. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> it's worse than a cat. Freaking dog. It's a pack of wolves. All we need to do is come over here. Grab this. We should fight it, really, shouldn't we? Even though I think they're absolute freaking bullshit. I shouldn't, shouldn't say that. I'm so sorry. That was my bad. That was really naughty. There they are. You can see that thing. The, uh, the thing is just thrown away as well. The ball thing. Oh, God. Just freaking obnoxious. Everything about them.
It's things like this that make me really like my quality build because it just rip. It, my quality build can rip this apart. With no effort. <laughs> my mage just cannot even get a cast off properly because we can't get the, the distance. Now I have no stun ability in close combat. It's just like, damn. still come out on top. Just about. <laughs> you got that last one in. Freaking salty. <laughs> I mean, I'm salty about them as well. They do my head in. They do do my head in. Um, I, don't, I don't know what it is. Like, a lot of the world enemies in this, like, are way worse than the bosses. But that should be... Pretty much everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if we can catch that uh, that ball that rolled away there as my outro. It bugs me a little bit that that got to get away because of the dot because of the giant red doggy. It could be nothing. It's probably just going to be a replen of uh, of magic, but. This one looks like yeah, it's just good match with that. That's why I have my memory view. Okay, uh, so that finishes up this episode. Then in the next one, we are going to be continuing from this grace. We're going to do the drop offs to get the to get the mimic summon. We're probably going to be taking that into most battles from now on. Uh, what ghost? What, what ghost do we have? What ghost do we have? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, it's going to be going straight up to plus five uh, and replacing little because it would just be cool. Just be cool. Be careful about which items you put on your um, equip bar. Uh, I put um, these on and during the stream it was eating at the actual feet repeatedly for some reason. Um, so it would appear if you like put a load of uh, like parts or bombs into your hot bar, you could probably get it to like poison things for you. But either way, that is going to be the end of this episode and I'll see you all in the next video.